Today I have a motherboard that stands out for one particular reason above all the other ones, and that is its unique color scheme. I actually bought a Sapphire Pure 780G board back in the day because I loved the color scheme so much for my Micro ATX build, and oh, it looks like this one's not white. Oh, it's just pure white branded. Okay, well, let's go over the basic features of it anyway. And I wish they'd bring back the white PCB because I thought that was awesome. But I'll settle for black PCB. As you guys know, I am a big fan of the black PCB on a motherboard. So going back to the box here, we have the AMD dual core E350 APU. Okay, so that includes in the built into the CPU, GPU, APU thing, built in 6310 DirectX 11 graphics. It supports HDMI DVI and VGA out, SATA 3 6 gigabit per second, yes, on a mini ITX motherboard, up to 8 gigs of memory, and PCI Express 16X graphics slot is also included. What else we got here? It does support DDR3, that's very good, and... Oh, look at this. This outer and inner packaging is made with 100% recyclable paper. Oh, thanks, Sapphire. Good on you. All right, let's have a look at what we've got in terms of accessories. So we have two SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second cables. Next, we have an I.O. shield. Finally, we have an installation CD and a fueled by Sapphire sticker. Then we have a Pure White Fusion E350 quick installation guide with some pictures and some words and good stuff like that. Alright, let's have a look at the layout of the board itself. So we've got the APU right here in the middle. There's your E350, so it's got a heatsink fan combo unit on it. There's your CPU fan header. In terms of other fan headers, it looks like we've got one more for a power fan, and then that's pretty much it. This is a more value-oriented board, given it is mini ITX. We've got our 4-pin power connector right down here, and then our 24-pin power connector is located along the right-hand edge, although unlike desktop boards, I'm not sure that there is an ideal necessarily, yeah, ideal location for the power connectors. We've got support for dual-channel DDR3 memory up to 8 gigs at a time, and then we have um, also, hold on, let me just make sure I'm not missing something, up to 8 gigs. Yep. Um, we've also got four SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. We've got our chipset right here. So those are running off of the AMD chipset. Unlike most Intel boards where you can't have four SATA 3 ports running off the chipset, you can only have two at this time. There's our front panel headers as well as our PCIe 16X slot. We've got two front USB headers. We've also got a front audio header. And moving along to the back of the board, we have one, two, three, four USB 2.0 ports, VGA, DVI, and HDMI out, gigabit Ethernet, and 5.1 audio out. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Pure White Fusion E350 from Sapphire. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.